As recently as 2007, this discreet office in the heart of London made a vast fortune for AIG. The man who ran it, a 54-year-old American, Joseph Cassano, and his team at AIG Financial Products were selling a financial instrument called Credit Default Swaps. In simplest terms, Cassano and his company sold big banks and brokerage firms insurance against their investments dropping in value. Now he and those deals are being blamed for AIG's collapse. It's the credit default swap people that really, and that was a very small number of folks and a very small number of trades. They're the ones that brought our company to our knees. All the global resources. It was a gold mine when times were good, and it just seemed to get better. In 1999, revenues were $737 million. By 2005, they were up to $3 billion. The average pay in the unit was more than a million dollars a year per employee. Cassano himself earned more than $280 million in eight years. Even when the markets began to weaken, Cassano's confidence did not. It's hard for us, with, and with, without being flippant, to even see a scenario within any kind of realm of reason that would see us losing one dollar in any of those transactions. But only two months later, with a weakening real estate market, AIG announced a $352 million loss on the credit swaps. And that was only the beginning. Suddenly, the company was on the hook to pay out billions of dollars it didn't have. Although Joseph Cassano was forced to retire a year ago, AIG let him stay on in the company's luxurious London house. And apart from a multi-million dollar severance package, he also got a nine-month consulting contract at a million dollars a month. It's no surprise Cassano is keeping a very low profile. Hi, is that Mr. Cassano? Uh, it's Liz Palmer here from CBS News. I'm wondering whether you might come and talk to us for a moment. Thank you. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.